Hello, oh, god damn it, clipping. Hello everyone. Sorry, I was close to the mic. Anyway, it is finally time to get back to something that I don't think I've done in months. It is time to continue the series of... That's right. This is going to be probably quite easy, or at least I hope so. I'm not sure. Uh, it is the Bop It Extreme today, and uh, I honestly don't really think I have much else to say, other than uh, this will not be the only electronic game-based video that you'll see. I'm hoping that in the next few days I'll be able to make a couple, um, and uh, I hope you'll enjoy those too, but those will not be maximum score, at least I don't believe so. But this one is, so yay, I get to play the Bop It Extreme with the coil on it. I recently changed batteries in this. Uh, I was messing around with low ones, trying to get them to glitch, and yes, I have gotten my Extreme to do the usual stuff that most Bop It Extremes do, where they, where they can go <laughs> and other such things. Um, but I have switched back to the absolutely, like, highest level batteries for this, just as the benefit of the doubt, just in case the coil requires it. I kind of doubt that it would, but I did it anyway. So, without further ado, I think it's time. Let's see how many times I have to mess up. Here we go. Solo. High score.
Box Bop. Beat Bop. Box Bop. Solo. Flick it. Twist it. Twist it. Flick it. Pull it. Flick it. Twist it. 
it. Twist it. Pull it. Twist it. Pop it. Spin it. Twist it. Flick it. Twist it. Spin it. Pull it. Pop it. Flick it. Twist it. Twist it. Flick it. Flick it. Pull it. Pop it. Spin it. Pop it. Spin it. Pull it. Spin it. Twist it. Flick it. Flick it. Pull it. Flick it. Pull it. Twist it. Pop it. Spin it. Pop it. Spin it. Pull it. Pop it. Pull it. Spin it. Pop it. Twist it. Spin it. Pop it. Spin it. Pull it. Pull it. Twist it. Flick it. Twist it. Spin it. Twist it. Pull it. Twist it. Pull it. Spin it. Pop it. Spin it. Pull it. Pop it. Spin it. Pull it. Spin it. Pull it. Pull it. Twist it. Pop it. Spin it. Pop it. Pull it. High score. So, Bop Extreme complete. I'm not sure why it is, maybe it's just because I'm just not used to playing stuff with the coil anymore, or maybe because of the shape of the game or what, but I found it a little bit more difficult to beat the Bop at Extreme, uh, much more difficult in fact than I did the Extreme 2 when I first started this series, when was that? Almost two years ago now? Yeah, I can't believe it's been that long. But yeah, um, the Extreme 2 was a piece of cake. This, not so much. Um, I don't know how much I will leave in the recording, but both times, on both modes, I got up to 150, or I got to 181 on Beat Bop, and I got to 201 on Vox Bop before getting 250 on either one. So I had to try the game twice on both modes to win. And every time, what missed me up was the flick it. Because I still need to get used to how you do the flick it. I mean, it's not the most annoying thing in the world. Uh, I have had people tell me, however, that that's just how the Bop Extreme flick it is. It doesn't work like how all the other flick it's on other Bop it's work. Um, and I can, ex I can like, work around that. I'm fine with that. I just need to kind of retrain myself, like, how I'm supposed to do it which sometimes I just couldn't reach it in time. And uh, yeah, I didn't change my position. I, I left, like I kept playing in the same position that I always am playing in. Um, so that helped. I knew where the commands were and everything. Um, and also, I had a lot of fun messing with the move logic while I was playing. I was, um, I was uh, like trying to figure out what moves are kinda come, gonna come when. And I found out that, or, well, according to what I'm seeing with the move logic, the Baba Extreme has a similar kind of approach to the Extreme 2, where, where uh, whenever a move is called, it will then have a chance to call some other move. Now, I'm not sure if the Extreme 2 does this or what, but I have a feeling that on both the extreme and the extreme two, the way it works is that whenever a move, or maybe two moves in sequence, I don't know exactly how this works, is called, then there will be a sort of, like, table 
of other branches to continue from, and those branches do not have equal probability. Maybe it's just the RNG in this thing being skewed or something, but I believe that from specific points, getting to a specific move is more unlikely than from other points. Maybe if I analyze like 10 runs of the same game next to each other and had a lot more moves at my disposal to understand, I would be able to come up with more of a uh, an assumption as to exactly what these probabilities are. But like, for example, let's just take spin it. When a spin it is called on the extreme, the first rule of thumb is that another spin it will never be called after that because it's programmed not to. That's a no-no, it just can't happen. Now, the next probable thing it'll call is bop it. So spin it, bop it is common. Spin it, pull it is sort of common. Spin it, twist it is less. And spin it, flick it, while it can happen, is rare. I believe that's how it works for every move. So when a move is called, specific moves might move, like, might change over than, uh, more probably than others. Like, for example, in the case of pull it, when pull it is called, flick it is more commonly called than, say, bop it, maybe. I'm actually not sure. Maybe things do have equal prob probability. It's just, I, I don't know. And then with specific ones, like, I believe, flick it, you cannot have more than two or three. It just locks out. It just doesn't go any higher than that. Whereas with Twist It, you heard me on VoxBot mode, you heard me get six of them in a row, and then another four after that uh, in a row right after, pretty much. So the Twist It on the Extreme, as well as on the Extreme 2, is the one that, will, that can very often like recurse into itself and keep looping. I will never forget the time when I got 10 twist -its in a row on the Extreme 2 once. That was fucking crazy. It's very unlucky, or very unlikely that that happens, but it can happen. Um, so yes, I had a lot of fun analyzing the move logic as I was playing, trying to keep my mind off the, the coil and things. That was fun. Another thing that I noticed, I'm not sure if you guys will pick up on it, but I believe that the Bop It Extreme is the other game besides the Bop It Originals, all of them, that change speed randomly. They don't have a set point as to when they change speed. It's given in, like, ranges. So, for example, changing from speed 1 to 2 can happen between anywhere between 9 and 15 or something like that. Now, I don't know how the rest of the ranges go, and each one has its own range, I guess, but the amount of time that it takes to get from speed 1 to speed 5 is random. Or at least, that's my assumption. You can correct me if I'm wrong, and if you can, if you can like, listen to multiple people playing runs, and, like, if you conclude that it changes speed at the same time I'm just being weird, then sure, tell me, please, and I'll acknowledge it. I just believe that I have had the game change speeds at random points that I'm not expecting. And, uh, that's another thing that is kind of fascinating about when I own a game. It's like, I, I like to own the games not simply because I want to play them, but also because I want to find out as much about them as I can. And the very, like, last reason why I might want to own one is to see what it looks like and what it's like in the hand and how it feels. That's one of the other, like, few reasons, but the main thing is to get to know pretty much as much as I want to know about it without having to resort to second-hand info, you know? Because each one of these things is unique, and it's sort of interesting. Like, I would never have guessed that the Bop It Extreme, for example, changes speed randomly instead of at set points until just now, until like a few days ago when I got mine. So, with that out of the way, 
I, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this recording, and uh, stay tuned, because there's more Electronic Games stuff to come. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.